welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. Today, we are doing our very first budgeting, cash stuffing, and all that type of breakdown. This video will be a little bit longer just so that I can explain to you guys what all our family decided to come up with. So hopefully you're interested. This will be a permanent thing on my YouTube channel. So if you guys are not into budgeting or any of that type of stuff, then just click off this video now because these videos will be here. Get your drink, get your snack. Before we go any further, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down and comment something down below. All right, you guys, this setup is going to be a temporary setup because right now my beauty room has something going on with it. So basically, I'm in my room with this little card table and my camera is like actually hanging over the table. So if it becomes a little shaky, I do apologize, but we're going to talk about the little things that we have. We do have the saving up for, and we haven't put anything right there yet, but this is where we're going to put the change in every time we, you know, use our dollars and stuff. We're doing the coin challenge. We do have a, this cutie right here. I think this is an A5 or A6. I'm not quite for sure. I think I got it from Budgeting Treasures, I think. And I got this made from her a while back um, in support of a black business collab sale. So we will be using this baby. It says Wake, Pray, Sip, and Slay. We're going to be using this one right here, which I will be having these come shortly for sale. You guys be on the lookout. I did talk about me starting a second business and this is a part of that second business. So I just put secure the bag on there and I have these, which I had these, but I'm going to switch them to the bigger ones because I just can't deal with the small print. I do have some receipts that I need to scan if you guys are not if you guys have not downloaded the app called fetch I will have my discount code or bonus code or whatever that is right there I learned fetch from Gina Janine here on YouTube and then while watching a lot of my budgeting friends they also use fetch all you do is scan all your receipts and you get points and points add up to money and all that good stuff I do get a sign-on bonus as well as you get a sign-on bonus as soon as you scan your first receipt I know this looks like a whole lot okay so we are gonna break this down this is all the money that we will be stuffing and stuff so let me move this to the side real quick so with all of these envelopes you guys all of these envelopes are a mixture of cash stuffing envelopes as well as extra sinking funds so i made all these by myself um i will be offering these very soon do not pay attention to mine because i did a trial run with mine but i did pretty good to say it was my first time so we will be using these a little bit later yes it's a lot of them but you guys are gonna understand once we get there i do have a crap ton i have extra money from the year of 2019 when me and the wife was doing it um and we fell off 2020 and when we went to reset our whole budget and book up we found all this money so it's very nice to find extra money that you didn't even know you had um here i have a lot of stickers from plenty of shops and these go these are going to be used throughout my budget and book we have some happy planner we have some elaine michelle i mean we just have stickers we have some budget and stickers from michelle not Elaine Michelle, but a lady named Michelle, which is my wife's boss. All that good stuff. So we have that tucked off that we will be using throughout our journey. And you guys, sorry if you hear the lawn service. They are outside 
So the book we will be using is the Elaine Michelle Studios Budgeting Planner. Me and my wife used to use the Elaine Michelle printouts. If you guys prefer printouts versus purchasing the book, she does offer both. But we had never started the actual planner book until this year. So we already wrote everything down in pencil because it was our first one. So I decided to do everything in pencil so that I, if I mess up, I knew how, you know, I could go back and erase it and fix it. Let's just go ahead and start off here. The rent, sorry, you guys about the shaky table. Rent is paid. My cell phone is paid. Light company is paid. The braces have not be, been paid. The HBO is on pause and the cell phone and all that is not due to the end of the month, but my wife did go ahead and pay the car insurance. So we did kind of fill out the monthly view. Okay, we did go ahead and fill out the monthly and we did, we haven't did this side yet. This is for the second one. No, this is for the whole month. I haven't filled this out yet. All I did was do the first paycheck, which was the seventh, and write out the bills that was due. HBO, we did skip for this month, and the braces have yet to come up, but everything was automatically paid. So if we switch over, you get four paycheck pages, just in case if you get paid weekly, but if you get paid bi-weekly, you just skip, of course. Then we have our spending tracker, um, we already started the spending tracker because we have already been spending money. But anything that goes in green is what we received outside of a paycheck. So I did get a sponsorship payment. My wife does do designs on the side. So if you guys would like graphics or designs, let me know down below in the comments. And we could talk about it on maybe Instagram or something or through email but she does do graphics on the side I do do hair on the side and plus my blowout business so I just been getting adding every money that every piece of money that we get I add it to the spending tracker instead of the monthly or the first paycheck tracker because this is the main source and all of the rest of it is extra so here is our cash envelopes for this pay period. I did put a highlight through it because this is the rollover from the sinking funds. If you could tell, we filled up every spot on the sinking funds. So I needed a place to put some extra ones that didn't fit on this side. So the cash stuff in, I wanted to write down every single category that we actually are accounted for and still put like a zero or whatever the case may be. So that was the purpose of that, which this is what we're gonna be working with today. So just to show you guys, I did watch a budgeting video. If I can remember her name, I will put it in the screen. But we wrote down all of the sinking funds when they were due, if they had a due date, as well as we wrote down all our, our cash stuff in, which I did add a few more that I need to add on to here. And we do do rewards, like surveys and games and stuff. So we made a section for that to just put what app we use and how much we made, which this won't be accounted for unless it happens. And then we, I sat there and broke down every single thing. So with my wife car registration, this is only calculated through the main income, which is her. So it's due March 31st and it cost $130. So we calculated how many checks until March 31st and then took 130 divided by those six checks, which ends up to $22 every paycheck. I did this for every single thing that we are calculating for as well as for things that really just don't have a date which like medical I did 12 months and we decided we wanted to save up $500 to start with so I took $500 divided by 12 and it came out to $42 each pay period so that's how everything is broke down 
Amen. we can start counting our cash now when it comes to the certain when we come to certain envelope the way my brain works i wrote down on the side where i already took money from so we will be grabbing that money and then subtracting just because that's the way my brain works okay so and i do have my phone right here so i will be using my calculator off my phone so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven dollars right here we have two tens right here and y'all please don't come for me in the way that i set up or anything like that because i do things the way my brain works so there's one five i did add the two dollars you guys um but yes don't come for me with the way my brain is set up and the way my brain works okay <laughs> 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. And I'm going to try my best to kind of keep it in frame. No, I don't have the fancy smancy, you know, organizer uh, set up or anything like that. As well as you guys are going to see that these are a mixture of sinking funds and cash envelopes. There's a mixture of both in each and in due time i will redo everything but right now i used what i had to start off with so this is 10 15 20 25 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so we're starting out with basically 441 dollars so we're gonna start off with the wake pray and slay and basically me and my wife sat down and decided which ones we're gonna start off with which ones we're gonna um skip over for right now and we did that with the paycheck and pulled everything so for day night we have 16 dollars and nine times out of ten because the place that she went to to get you know breakdown change they did not want to give less than the 50s and stuff so we're gonna be struggling a little bit so for youtube we're gonna get five dollars so i'm gonna try to use all of the bigger bills before using the singles if you get what i mean and if anything i need to switch over anything or add anything or whatever we will do that so i think we skipped over christmas birthday is gonna be our birthday yeah we skipped over and then this one says a and b lavish but you guys we a and b lavish will be going completely out of business but i bought this with a and b lavish when i thought i was gonna jump back into my budgeting in 2020 i mean in 2021 and it did not i did not do it so this one is basically the rebrand and we're placing five dollars in the rebrand and then for kids this is their school clothes so it's 48 dollars this is for their school clothes and like i said i will be changing this up or i could be mistaken this is my first time doing it um because i do know i got a kid's envelope over there i could be mistaking something somewhere and if i do i will show you guys so that's it for this one right now let's go through these before i forget now what i am gonna do is i while sitting here i am gonna separate which one is sinkins and which one is cash so for father's day i know this one's a sinking funds and i think yeah for a month ahead i'm gonna set this to the side because you guys will see what we're doing with month ahead emergency i'm gonna set it to the side future sports um we skipped for right now because we did just pay for our son to play basketball so household is a cash stuffing and household needs to get 35. oh and i did say i was going to use my index cards for these and i will pull those out a little bit later or maybe i'll do that off camera so weekend sports 
our sports was 40. Now we do have future sports. And this is for if we need to sign them up for sports or the equipment for the sports or anything like this. So this will always roll over. A lot of our cash envelopes and sinking funds are rollovers. So this one will roll over. But the weekend sports is basically when we're going to my oldest son games, tournaments, um, my nieces, my nephews, all that good stuff. We keep a separate one so with weekend sports oh and this also goes for like concession stand and stuff like that a weekend sports got forty dollars and we already used i took a 20 with me over the weekend and i had two dollars left so we basically only have 22 dollars left for the weekend sports now allowances is for our boys and they get 40 and it's 40 because it's 20 a piece if they do their uh, their chores and they would get that every two weeks now my wife gets five dollars see you guys i'm gonna be stuck i'm gonna be stuck with a lot of, i got a lot of 50s so my son my baby boy well both of my boys decided they wanted to start their own business so the money that they have been making they wanted their own envelope and they wanted to start saving their money so cash has 21 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 30 dollars and this is his own money he has 30 dollars he decided to put in his envelope i'm gonna use that as a sinking funds i mean i'm gonna put his to the side as a sinking funds now when we ate out we pulled 50 $15 was left. $15 was left out of the 50. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to take the 10. So we have $15 left to eat on to the next pay period. Now our dog Prada. Um, his is a sinking. We have one for him that's a sinking funds. And then we have one for him that is his um this one is his cash this is for food toys and all that good stuff and then we have his medical one which is a sinking funds so with this one and i made it totally different so i'll know this one we don't put anything in because that's a cash see i knew i had kids clothing right here for their clothing and this one maybe this one was for their birthdays because I did make this so I do have to pay attention because I just wrote kids I mean I got this one made with just kids on it I will be changing these all up like I said but when I go to do that I will bring it back to you guys because I do want it I want one book for sinking funds I want another book for cash envelopes you know stuff like that so I'm gonna take this $48 and put it over here to kids clothes and this one is a sinking funds. Here is my oldest son. He wanted his to save funds. This is what he decided to put up. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So far for his business, his haircuts, and whatever else he wants to do with his money. Family time, I think I skipped right now. Yeah, we skipped. So family time has nothing and that's a cash envelope um we have gas up okay so with gas we decided to do 45 dollars a piece we wanted to start with 45 dollars to see how it goes and we both have used 15 so i need to put 15 dollars in here which i am going to put a 20 because i'm telling you guys i'm stuck with a lot of 50s okay so I'm going I'm going to write that we need $15 in here. And that's a cash. So for my wife's new vehicle, which is a sinking fund, we're going to put 40. See, we're going to have to going to put 40. No. I'm going to take this, put it here, keep gas up like that and i'm just gonna take a 50 for right now and put in my wife's because we're trying to save up for her a new vehicle 
um, for my oldest boy savings we're skipping for the youngest baby we're skipping the extra Christmas we're skipping my registration is not nowhere close so we're skipping now for our Sam's Club membership we are supposed to put $15 in there don't have it so I'm gonna take this 20 for now and put it in there Valentine's Day we're supposed to put 10 y'all this is gonna get real tricky I'm gonna sit it to the side for right now insurance the life insurance we're skipping for right now PlayStation is coming up and we're supposed to put 10 in there for now my wife's registration we're supposed to put 22 and then Mother's Day we're supposed to put 20 20 22 and two tens here is Prada's medical which in his medical we need eight dollars for gifts that's for other people's birthdays and we skipped that one so far for health care we skipped I do believe and then like I said for Prada's medical because his shots is coming up we had to put eight dollars our maintenance we're supposed to put 20 see and this is where I need to kind of shuffle the money around and go actually make change for the new home it's going to be moving and we skipped that so far and then for savings we skipped so far we have our clothing which we skipped and then we have our birthdays which we skipped oh no for our birthdays, I was going to add $20 for my wife. And then that would be it. So are all of my cash envelopes with the gas up, which I need to break down. Now, the money that's not accounted for will go in month ahead. And we will be pulling the month ahead to add on to next paycheck or whatever the case may be. Um... I do need to kind of fix these so let me get my index cards I will speed this part up so you guys could just watch me but I'm gonna go through and put what's supposed to be in the envelope or what is in the envelope and I'm just using some index cards from the dollar store or something I don't know where I got these from but I'm about to go through and write everything that is needed or is in there and make sure we get it in there right. So I wrote in there that we need to add $22 to her registration. Gas up, we need to take $5 out. And then I'm going to put 110. We added $20 to it. But we need to take 5 out. And I'm only writing the ones that I do have in here, over here, just in case if, like, say, me or my wife needs to grab from one of these and we don't want to pull out the whole book and stuff we'll know exactly what we have in here left and there will be some days that I'll come on here and do like the bill exchange within itself and stuff like that so just be on the lookout for all the new budgeting videos that I want to bring Let me put his daily. We have the 30. Um, Sam's Club. Oops. Sam's Club was how much? We needed 15, so. Eventually, I want all these envelopes to be in their own binders and stuff, but 
right now this is how I decided to make them because I have a lot of cardstock everywhere so let's just keep them all right now So with the kids' business and their own thing that they want to do, this is not calculated into our budget because we have their allowance, we have their savings, we have that to the side. We're going to add and then $8. Add $8. It'll be $8 there. I don't know why it has this description here. So you guys, that description will throw you off. And I don't know why it's there. So, yes, of course, I just marked it out. So, when it comes to transportation, which is the maintenance, we need $20. And we're starting at zero. And I know this one was all over the place. But, you guys, we are done with that. Um, oh, we still need to do this one. Really quick, since this one is not a lot. So we have date night and we did add what 15 16 and me and my wife decided like if we don't use date night we'll just roll it over or save up I'm gonna fold these in half save up to something that we want to do what is that noise our Christmas I'm gonna put just so I'll know like the difference the difference in all of the folders until I can get used to it and y'all know I am the type that like to keep in all of the raw and the real and the mistakes and all just so that I could be as transparent as possible with you all we have a hundred and fifty two dollars left for right now I'm gonna put this in month ahead which would be a hundred and fifty two and when we do go to use any of this, we need to know where to put that change into the things that we haven't stuffed, if you get what I mean. So you guys, that was it. I know that was kind of crazy, sloppy, and all over the place. But like I said, I wanted to keep the very first one. My I wanted to keep my first cash stuff in, in with all of the mistakes and all because this is the way I'm going to learn and get comfortable with it. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what I could do different or anything that I could do to better myself or whatever the case may be. We just trying to get our life together over here and ain't nobody got time for worrying about bad comments you know so let me know your thoughts down below if you would like the elaine michelle studio budget book i will have it down below i don't have a coupon code but y'all i love 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 her budgeting methods and her um planners and tools to use so i will have everything linked down below let me know if you guys would like a budgeting book but you know if you guys would like me to make you a budgeting book or some envelopes just hit me up in the comments my email and we could discuss it'll be a small free because I'm just starting out or whatever so that's no problem just let your girl know and we could talk about that on the side but I hope to see you guys in the next one do see <laughs>